to part four of what if Krillin wished to be a Saiyan like Goku. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. I hadn't intended to actually um, do videos uh, on New Year's Day. I intended to record them prior, but I had interruptions yesterday and it just didn't work out. And yeah, I've got a bit of a cold. Not COVID. As far as I can tell, I'm fine. I've just got a bit of a cold. Uh, <clears throat> I've got, I'm a little fuzzy. I'm a little stuffy. I'm a little warm, but I don't have a fever. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you when it's all said and done. I may lay down for a nap. Nap sounds really good. <laughs> but until then, let's get into part four of Dragon Ball Z What If. Last time of the Dragon Ball Z What If, Krillin had successfully killed Dr. Duro, which now brings us to a very, you know, interesting little point here. What actually is going to go down with the Cell arc? Trunks didn't show back up because he knows this isn't his timeline. Though you can make the argument he still accidentally shows up because he's still screwing things up. Trunks, man, the the most noblest of screw-ups. His intentions were so good, and yet he ended up screwing everything up so hard. Still, regardless, well, for this argument, we'll say Trunks actually doesn't come back. <coughs> Which obviously begs the question, is there even a cell in this timeline? I implied there was, but... I had to think on that after the fact. Is there is there even a cell in this timeline? Does the cell even show up? I will say this. Initially, because I was originally doing the video yesterday and I had to stop it. I'm like, yeah, there's a cell and he shows up. I actually think it's a lot more fun to not have a cell, an initial cell, in this what if. <laughs> Excuse me, the, uh, the past, the future cell coming back. The main series cell, if you will. What I think would be more interesting is to have um, is to have cell just remain as he is. Now, if I remember correctly, how long did it take cell to actually grow? Cell Dragon DBZ, because that's going to be a big factor in how long this is going to take. I've heard people say seven, thirteen years. I want to see if I can. Uh, let's see here now. Uh, he is. You're uh, uh, completed by Dr. said being completed by Dr. Jiro's supercomputer and ultra timeline. Uh, let's see here now. Come on. Uh, uh, okay, appearance. I don't care about appearance, personality. Don't care about that. Give me his history and backstory, please. Uh, do 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 do. Back. Okay. Version of Cell plays a large role in ultra vision. Unfortunately, not, neither is time already evolved into an imperfect form. Taken out of the version in order to complete his evolution. Cell kills Richard Trunks. Uh, he remained for four years. Uh, so I, I don't think it really gives us much of the uh, much of an idea how long it would have taken him for him to actually grow as a you know an adult. For the sake of fun, I am not going to say how long I'm, it's going to take. <clears throat> Anyone who's kind of guessing can probably take a hint. But for now, the androids are taken care of. They're still kind of wondering where Jero's lab is because there may be more dangers there, but they can't find it at the moment. Um, and I'm drinking some lemon water to help out my uh, throat and get some vitamin C and all that goodness. So, uh, you know, they then they go back to just, you know, wait, nurse Goku back to health. Goku is nurse back to health and all is well that ends well. Or is it cut over now to... Two things. One, the seven-year time skip, but B, this makes Hercule Satan not the savior of the world. World martial arts champion, sure, but not the savior of the world. Still very popular, still very loved, but not to the same level that he is. He's not the super celebrity that he actually was in the Dragon Ball Z timeline. So, this, uh, this poses several things. One, how is the interaction between Hercule and the others now? Well, he's going to be a lot more surprised the first time around when he sees them. He's probably even just going to look at them and not think anything serious of them. But B, how is everything going in the seven-year time skip? Well, a uh, couple big changes. One, you have Goku and Krillin still there. They're still training. I do believe within seven years, they do hit Super Saiyan 2. I, I fully believe that. I don't think they're knocking on the door of Super Saiyan 3, though. This one, this scenario, I don't see that. But more to the point, I think Krillin uh, takes it upon himself to train Goten along with uh, Chi-Chi occasionally, because Chi-Chi was training Goten while Gohan was getting an education. 
And I see, and I can see uh, not only that, but Krillin and Goku. I mean, they're all doing it, but Krillin and Goku also up in Gohan's training just a little bit because there's now there's no threats or anything like that. So they actually do help Gohan train a little bit. Now Gohan is never going to be a main part of the Z Fighters in this version, but to be somewhere in the neighborhood of his power level once he got back from Namek, I think that's more than reasonable, and that makes him still one of the strongest humans on the planet. Maybe he even learns to turn into Super Saiyan like Goten does, but either way, no. <clears throat> one of the big things that G Krillin also learns is to finally at least control his Ozaru form. Over seven more years, oh yeah, I'd say that he can, tr can control his Ozaru form easily. Easily he controls his Ozaru form just with time, practice, and discipline. Now, what he can't do yet is control Super Saiyan Ozaro, because he tries that once, and he's just going completely, pun intended, ape shit. And, you know, Goku's just trying the best, his best to um, um, keep him under control, to the point where he almost had to cut his tail off. But fortunately, uh, he's able to knock Krillin out before he had to do that. And he tells Goku what happens, like, if that happens again, Goku, no matter what, just take this damn tail off, no matter what. Thing. All right, buddy. Now, does Krillin get married in this time? Obviously, 18 was around in the original, but here, no. I don't actually see uh, Krillin getting married. At least, maybe not staying married. Could he get married to Marin? I don't really see it. The reason for that is Marin really was more of a... I, mean, I think Marin does show up in the manga, but it's brief. And even showing up in the anime, it's brief. Um, so, yeah, I uh, I don't really see that happening. Uh, him getting married to Marin in this version. I see him basically kind of just being a bachelor. Maybe getting a date here or there, but just being a bachelor. And he still lives with the sons. Like, they're, they're more than welcome to have him. They're very happy to have him, honestly. So, yeah, and all's going well. Until all's going well. Until the arrival of a cell. <laughs> and the hell of a cell! Uh, and that's the thing. During the pre boo arc, Cell finally emerges. And he emerges as his perfect form. They all sense the power output of Cell. Like, what the hell? It's like, uh, what is that? And it's like, oh, so, oh, Son Goku, there you are. And Goku just shows up in a city, starts destroying things. And it lures, it lures the gang, Piccolo, Goku, Krillin, you know, like the main Z fighters who are still there to, you know, defend the planet. It lures them out there. Should note the relationship between Piccolo and Kami. Kami is still around. He's still the uh, he's still the guardian of the earth. I mean, there are no Nameki. Although they, they, I think at some point they wish the Namekians back. Um, because like, oh dear lord, that was terrible what happened. Because I'm sure Frieza probably mentioned what he did to Namek. Um, now, I I think Piccolo, at seven years of just kind of meditating, training, and just mellowing out, has made Piccolo a relatively hospitable Z fighter. But still not someone who Kami's willing to uh, fuse with. Like, there's still... There's still that Vegeta-like streak in him. Because he has not had that bonding with Gohan to really change who he is as a person. So... He, he while he's got more than enough free reign, and he's more than willing to help now... He's he's still cantankerous, and he still harbors a bit of a grudge against Goku, especially because he knows he can't beat him at this point, at least not unless he fuses with Kami. He keeps training. He's still, like, I imagine after seven years, he's probably where he was once he fused with Kami, which is quite a bit uh, more powerful than he, uh, we uh, <clears throat> than he initially was. But if he were to fuse with Kami, he might actually finally pose a challenge to these guys, but at the moment, he can't. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, anyway, Perfect Cell's there, and he's like, who, who are you? It's like, oh, yes, that's right, we haven't met yet. I am Cell, the final and greatest creation of the Great Doctor. And he explains what happened, that, you know, he is the final creation, and that his goal was to merge with the other two androids to create this perfect form. Lucky for him, the androids were locked up safe and sound right, uh, right above his head. I was like, we, we kill the answers. Ah, yes, I looked through the re I looked through the records of that. It seems the great doctor made one final little play here. Uh, and he just explains how he turned himself into an android. That was the old man they fought, and he made another android just to be safe. 
There was another bit of one in there, Android 16, but I was already perfected at that point, so I didn't really care. And I just I just decided to destroy him. <laughs> that explains that giant explosion we heard. It's like, oh yes, he apparently had a bomb in him. <laughs> anyway. Um So sixteen um or so so Sal's like, ah, oh, but now I'm here and I'm going to lay waste. And I'm here to lay waste to this entire planet of yours. Uh, it's like, what? Why? Why do you want to destroy? It's because of what? What? Why wouldn't I? To show how that I am truly the most powerful being there is. Uh, to to show off just what power and perfection really stands for. It's like there's no way I'm gonna let you. Do that. Of course, Koku, you wouldn't let me do that. That's what I love about you, because you are my one and only true mission that I will honor for the Great Doctor, killing you, and you will be the perfect test. Uh, I was like, don't you think, you think I'm just going to let you uh, take on Goku before you even get a chance to get, you're going to have to go through me first. He's like, oh, Krillin, <laughs> that's adorable. You really think you have stand a shot or stand a chance? Don't think I don't know that you were, if, used the Dragon Balls to wish a power similar to Goku's, but it won't be enough. My, uh, my, like, I've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment, so not even a sore throat, my voice is a little... <laughs> At the moment, so my impressions aren't spot on like they normally are. <clears throat> oh yeah, <laughs> wow, what a oh yeah. Oh, let's we'll see about that. I can always go into my abridged voice too. Um, and and he powers up the Super Saiyan, and they clash for a little bit, and you know they're, they're like, let's take this somewhere else. Oh, you really want to save the people, huh? Well, save them from this, and Goku's like, <clears throat> fight. You're gonna fight clean, or you're not gonna fight at all. So I was like, oh. Uh, damn it. Very well, then. Pick your battlefield, and let's get this over with. And they go, and they square off. Because they, let's see if you can handle this. Arr! And he just powers up to Super Saiyan 2. It's like, what? And then just Krillin comes in, and just boom. Now, again, I do believe Kr Goku is stronger in this, this version than his canon version. Which does put him, and I do think he's still the stronger between him and Krillin. Albeit, if Krillin doesn't try to go Uzaro in his Super Saiyan form. Um, they, but they clash. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. And ultimately, it turns into uh, a serious smackdown on uh, Krillin's part. Uh, to, to, and ultimately, I think he... Because unlike, um, unlike Gohan, who was very... Who, you know, the Saiyan arrogance kicked in. Krillin's had enough time with this form and training with Goku. And years of martial arts experience prior to this. That... The discipline kicks in, and he is not going to be stupid and just, you know, give Cell a chance to live. So, he ultimately takes out Cell after a beam struggle, and it is Krillin who saves the day. All is well that ends well. Great. Wonderful. Moving on. <laughs> right? Pr cut. Print. Move. Uh, so, Cell did play a part, but it wasn't the part you might think. So, after the fact, you get most of, like, the... Um, Slice of life, Dragon Ball stuff we were getting for that saga up until Goku ever got brought back. Um, there is the martial arts tournament. Okay, my ears are popping. I hate that. Don't you hate that when you got like the pressure in your ears? You're like got like a head cold and the pressure in your ears. Your ears are popping. Just now you gotta do that thing where you all to kind of just equalize it. Oh, so that was and, and occasionally you'll like do something like you'll kind of like, uh, you know, snort a little bit, and it just, one of them goes off, and you're like, you're unbalanced, like, oh god, this feels so weird. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, and luckily, I know, I, I'm pretty certain I don't have COVID, because I can taste this, I can actually still smell it, I don't have a fever, I think, I really think I just got a head cold. Anywho, so, Goku and the gang, uh, you know, are out living their lives, eventually, I think the martial arts tournament still comes. Um, that, now, there have been plenty of martial arts tournaments prior to this, um, because there is no Cell Games. So the question is, have they participated in any of them? I don't actually see the reason that why they would want to participate. They're, they haven't been participating in any of them prior, so I don't see the actual reason to participate. Before, it was because Goku was having a day, was getting to come back for a day, um, and it was a perfect opportunity for everyone to interact and all that. But in this case, it's like, well, uh, no, nah, that's, there's no real reason. So, uh, so shockingly, there is no, they're not 
participating. I don't even think they, they bother to go and like watch them sometimes. Uh, even though sometimes they do, but I don't think they they would go. <coughs> and so, mm, and so they're just like doing their own thing. Meanwhile, the Jita's out there running Frieza's empire uh, after you know killing uh, free, uh, running Frieza's empire, and. You know, he's, at this point, achieved Super Saiyan, he's achieved, I I even think he might even hit, like, Ascended Saiyan at this point. Uh, but maybe not Super Saiyan too. but still. Um, he's just doing his own thing. I remember I had Frieza killed, but I don't think I had King Cold killed, so King Cold is still out there. And he's running, Vegeta, I think, has overthrown King Cold at this point. I'll say that, because I had to remember, like, did I kill King Cold? No? Cool? Great? Uh, and we know basic Super Saiyan was enough to kill King Cold, so kill King Cold. Um, it was like, and I have no problem justifying that. Um, all right, come on. Anyway, uh, so my internet is just being, I don't know. I think I know why the internet has been the way it has and is pissing me off why that's the case. That, cause it, anyway, um, I digress. So... What happens with Bobbity and Deborah and Shin and uh, Kibito? Well, yes, both Vich and Yamo are still there. They go for the highest power, which isn't a lot. Well, honestly, the highest power is technically Kibito and Shin. And, you know, they they aren't really going to just let themselves have their power drain just so they can go and try to find where Bobby's ship is. So they they uh, they they wait and they, they don't participate. They but they're like uh, they're audience members, and you know Yamu Spovich. They go. They eventually do follow them, track them down. Unfortunately, Shin is such a bad Supreme Kai because he was putting even Beerus's life online. Uh, they go to confront Deborah Spovich and Yamu, and then Deborah comes and I think turns both of them to stone. Well, as you know, I think he he kills Kabito. And then I think he just flat out turns Shin into stone. Now, Shin isn't dead, as long as he's not broken. But then I think he... I actually think Deborah is like, it would be like, oh, probably might be like, oh, Supreme Kai, you'll make such a handsome trophy. Then again, I could, we could just end... I could just end you here. Ooh, so many choices. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I sure wish Lord Bobbity told me what you'd want. Mm. I think let's get let's just go continue with the resurrecting boo and we'll go from and we'll continue on from there. It's like of course Lord Poverty. And so Shin is turned to stone. Meanwhile the gang can kinda of sense some powers are power fluxing, but nothing that seriously like is threatening. But things they don't recognize. So they're wondering what's going on. And there no there's been reports of people just, you know, um of just being attacked lately by two figures, uh, you know, collecting energy, uh, or with, with this, like, little pot and stabbing them and all that. So eventually, Goku and Krillin, uh, decide to go out and find out what's going on. And, you know, as they're, they fly, and they end up meeting Yamu and Spovich mid-flight, and they both kind of just stop mid-flight, and Yamu and Spovich are looking at these guys, like, who the heck are you, who the hell are you guys? And they can immediately tell, it's like, Oh, these guys are a lot stronger than the other ones. Nice. Uh, it's like, uh, we're, we're on a mission. Mission, perhaps you can help us. Help you with what? They say, would you help us with, with the resurrecting? Uh, help us with Master Bob. It's great plan. And they come at him. Unfortunately, the only reason they were able to still go on his energy to begin with was because uh, Shin paralyzed them. So, really, uh, they try, and Krillin and Goku and Beish just beat the living hell out of these guys. It's like, oh, oh. It's like, all right, let's see. All right, where's... And they're trying to locate the next big source of energy. And they can feel Deborah's energy, which is the biggest energy there. And they go, and they... Okay, hold on to this pot. They hold on to the little pot. And they fly off. And they eventually, you know, get to the ship. And they see the statue of someone. And they're not like, what is... Who is this? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't got a bad feeling about this. And all of a sudden, the door opens like, Oh, we were expecting someone else, and you two are? Uh, who are you, and why do you have my energy pot? I don't know what it was actually called, energy pot. Energy pot. I've got so much energy right now. Whoa. <laughs> um, 
uh, energy pot for the pothead who needs a boost. Uh, so they, uh, he was like, who are you guys? Ah, I see you. you must have taken that Yavlitz Bovovich. The boy, what do you think? Their power certainly is greater than the average warrior. That is for certain on this planet. They may, they may make fine, fine fuel for Majin Buu. <laughs> uh, tell me, would you like to make a deal? I was like, what's that? Mm, by giving us, I'll spare you. You can be a part of my uh, crew if you just offer up your energy to Margin Woo. It'd be so wonderful for everyone. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Uh, what is Margin? Margin Boo is the is the greatest being in the universe, stronger than any before. And Goku's like, and Crow both here. They're like, stronger, mm, strongest being. Ah, uh, and then when it's all over, you'll be, we'll be, we can watch and destroy this planet. Uh, it'd be so wondrous. And you can be uh, serving at my side with the great Margin Boo. Wouldn't that be an honor for you? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Lil Bobbity, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be very interested. And it's like, you got that right. And it's like, <laughs> but there's other ways. And then Pui Pui comes out and Yakon come out. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, this is going to be a lot of fun. Mm. Then they both, uh, Goku and uh, Krum both power up the Super Jesus. Uh, 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 it seems they really are stronger than the average warrior. Oh, yes, this energy will be most delectable. The Bora, Pui Pui, Akon, do what you do best. Pui Pui immediately just gets his shit kicked in because he couldn't even handle base form Vegeta, which immediately is very strong, but still, he couldn't even handle base form Vegeta. Um, so he, he's just out quickly. And then Yakon and Dabora are trying to, like, team up against, um, uh, you know, Goku and Krillin. And they're, they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. Yakon ultimately gets taken down by absorbing too much RG from uh, Krillin in this case. But then Krillin, uh, but then Dabora comes in. He pulls out, you know, he creates a spear. Or, a, actually, he could create just about any weapon. So he maybe creates a blade. They, they're trying to dodge. They're both at Super Saiyan 2 now. And they're overwhelming Dabora. But Dabora has his trump card. Where uh, Krillin, where he, bla he fires an blast, Krillin blocks it and gets uh, Goku out of the, the way, only to be spit on by the board. Like, ah, what? Ah, ah! It's like, Krillin! And he grabs the statue before it falls. Like, ah. uh, oh, yes, the boy has a nasty little. Feel the habit the boy has. His spit can turn you to stone. Be careful, the Lord King of the Demon World is not to be trifled with. It's like, Krillin! Krillin! Oh, but if you could beat the boy, you'd turn back the normal. So, uh, so he says anyway. I could always be lying, after all. You can never trust a demon. <laughs> he just starts louder. <laughs> all of a sudden, he just see, he feels a huge spike about. <laughs> boom! When the Goku just like, he's super saiyan two, and he's a wrathful super saiyan two. Like he is angry. Just and he just comes in and starts. Beating the living hell out of Debora, and then finally, like, so all I had to do was kill you, right? <sighs> and he just blasts a hole straight in through the like, <clears throat> and, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, his legs drop to the ground, or it looks like he drops to the ground, but then you just see Debora still up in the air, just, <clears throat> and then you see the legs on the ground. Goku just blew out his entire abdomen, just, <clears throat> and tries, tries to spit. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, uh, uh, and then finally, Crow's like, uh, uh, oh man, what happened? It's like, uh, where am I? Huh? Who are you? It's like, I am, I am the Supreme Kai. Were you, you, uh, were you the one who freed me? No, I was, I was a statue just like you. And then Goku's like, it's over, Bobbity. Uh, you know, and he, he, Bob tries to sense where Boo's energy's at. Probably isn't that much more like a 20% right now or something like that. Boo would get completely wrecked. He'd be completely mollywopped, as the saying goes. Um, if he tried to fight them right now. Um, he's like, no, no. And then finally Shin just appears behind Bob and he's like, and just knocks him clean out. Just, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I thank you for everything. Uh, I, I cannot tell you how, uh, how grateful it is for this to finally be over. It's like, yeah, who are you again? He explains the hierarchies of the Kais and how he came here with his, with his associate Kibito and, you know, things didn't go right and Kibito, unfortunately, was lost. But we got something that can take care of that and ultimately... They wish, like, wish back everyone who Bobbity and their men, who was killed by Bobbity and their his men, and Capito is among them. So 
they wish back to Peter's like, thank you, Goku, for everything. You too, Krillin. Uh, uh, you too. Thank you very much. Ah, it's no problem. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. And like, yeah, take care now. And they head off. So Shin got really lucky in not being killed because his life force is connected to the God of Destruction. And Beerus would not have been happy just dying randomly. So that is where we're going to leave part four. I believe that's where we are. Part four. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's either part four or part five. I will label it correctly in the title. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching. I'll see you folks next time.